Hello everyone, Susugemi here and welcome back to War Thunder. The last part of the November sale is now active. A lot of packs in the Gaijin store are currently discounted. In this video, I'm gonna basically guide you what do I think about the packs. Be aware, I'm not gonna review all of the packs. I did that in the previous pack review video. I'll be reviewing now on the recommended packs. Now be aware, Gaijin nerfed a lot of premium vehicles back in the day. All of my recommended efficient vehicles are nerfed. So these are the leftovers. This packs are not gonna get you double aces this packs are just gonna slowly speed up your grinding process so the smartest choice for you will be getting premium account when it's discounted all right enough of talking let's go 9.7 t72 it has reactive armor that protects you from the enemy tgms time to time and it has a clear thermal vision rounded has skin pen everything and plus recently it's received a buff so if your tank have commander side, this tank also have it. If you lose your gunner, you can still fire. And that makes a huge difference in some of the 1v1 moments. However, the regular mobility problems remains with this tank. Terrible reverse speed. If you missed, you cannot retreat. Your best way out from there is smoking and praying. Because of the low mobility playing in a small and urban maps against other NATO tanks is not comfortable. If you like to play from medium distance, this tank is for you. SU-7 BMK, the strike aircraft is located at the 9.3 Soviet tech tree. It has a mediocre ground loadout, 6 bombs or 6 rockets. You can drop them one by one. You also have ballistic computer. Make sure to activate it from the controls. It will tell you where your rocket or bomb will drop. So for example, if you have a bomb loadout in ground realistic match, if enemy is scouted, you're gonna be able to kill it from far distance. If it's stationary, of course. If you're gonna pick the rocket loadout for ground realistic, you're gonna need to get a bit closer because they're inaccurate. Fire them from the half kilometers of range, you'll probably get the kill. XM1GM, if you watch my top 5 most recommended premium vehicle video, you probably know this. Vehicle is good, if you know every map, like inside your hand, you get it without fear. Hellcat of its BR. Head to head against T72s, so you'll probably lose, so use your speed to flank him. Bad thing about it, it doesn't have armor. But frontally it can sustain heavy caliber machine gun fire. Unfortunately cannot stand auto cannon fire, Gepards will go through you. It's not a comfortable tank, you need to be constantly alerted. The Leopard, absolutely no difference from the regular Leopard in Tech 3, nothing unique about it. Slower than the XM1, good cannon, thermal vision. The frontal armor it has is even weaker than the XM1s, everything goes through you. And recently they added Weasel 1A2 to the game. I think if you grab this Leopard and put Weasel to the lineup as well, you'll be unstoppable. It will be a really good lineup. Next vehicle is the only Soviet premium helicopter, KA-50. Uh, is recommended for experienced players. It's the only premium helicopter Soviet have currently. However, it requires some time to get used to it. What's good about this helicopter, you can pair air-to-ground missiles and air-to-air -air missiles together. In the hands of a skilled player, it can deal some massive damage to the enemy team. T55 AM1, probably see the new videos with it already. What's good about it, and why do I recommend this tank over T72 terms? You'll not play in night battles. So if you just started the game, there's thing called night battles. Personally, I hate it. Even if you have thermal, I hate uh, looking at the white and black color. I want to see the colorful game. Not in two tones. And night battles, unfortunately, not enjoyable for me as daytime battle. If you have a tank that is 9.0 and above, you will play in night battles. If you have something below it, you'll never play on night battles. That is the biggest reason I'm recommending T55M1 over T72. Also, it's not OP tank. Even though I got a double nuke with it, it requires, again, map knowledge and only recommended for experienced players if you're a new player playing with this will be much more comfortable for you than t72 as you know it was 8.7 before and after it dropped to 8.3 i started to recommend it it's a universal tank get it only bad thing there is not a good cast that you can use with it at that br because it's 8.3 if you get down tiered it has the dirtiest gameplay ever uh, 73 tanks are just suffering 
from T55 AM1 a lot. If it's getting up tiered, it is still playable. If you purchase the T55 AM1, you can immediately start wrecking the scoreboard. Doesn't matter if you're down tiered or up tiered. With T72, it's much harder. When you get this tank, you need to learn to play first. It teaches you how to play in pre-top tier and top tier. So even if you 11.0, the gameplay will be the same. And also night battles affect the decision as well. Also look how similar the XP reward is. Only 30% of difference. Just for the 30% more experience in match. Is it really worth to get an N97 BR? Decision is yours. Japan's Type 74, BR of 9.0. It has thermal vision, some sort of an armor. Also have a decent round. So if you wanna grind the Japanese tech tree, there is no alternatives anyway. Ruikat 105. Probably the most recommended premium tank in this list. You can pair it with the Skimeter. Make sure to have Skimeter in your lineup. You start grinding towards it. You can pick the four bullpup loadouts and you'll be unstoppable with this. About Ruikat, it has thermal vision. As every combat car, it's fast on the roads. But it really suffers on snowy, muddy, sandy maps. And if you want to grind the tech tree, it's recommended over the Avre. MX-30, it has a weird round, sometimes won't damage, it has thermal vision, good speed, but it's still recommended over the other French vehicles. Italian U-40, 9.0. It is comfortable, have good maneuverability, firepower, unlike other 9.0 premium vehicles, it leaks thermal vision. And for beginner players, it could potentially create some problems because as i just said in 9.0 you starting to get in thrown into the night battles like at this vr having thermal vision is a must it's recommended only for experienced players next we have Wyvern. bad air to air but good as a ground pounder low br and extremely heavy loadout uh, they were also recently buffed the hispano cannons if you like to play in low BR of Britain, this plane is for you. Chinese Type 69, uh, this tank have mediocre performance. It should have been 8.3, just like Soviet T55 AM1. It has worse armor than T55 AM1, missing some features as well. It's not a comfortable tank, but there's no interruptions in Chinese tech tree. G91R4. Compared to the regular G91, it doesn't have a cannon. Even though Nords got nerfed recently, I still recommend this plane. Compared to the regular G91, it also have air-to-air -air missiles. They're bad, but better than nothing, I guess. Uh, overall, if you want to spawn in ground realistic as a plane, this one is for you. Now we have bundles, T72 and SU7. Recommended this pack for players who like to play as tank and plane in ground realistic. If you're a player who doesn't have anything else in the Soviet tech tree, make sure to get in our squadron to also start to grind BMP2M. So in a month, you're gonna have BMP2M as well. It's a good tank. You can stick it with the T-72. It has thermal vision and it jams that can pan over 1000 millimeters. So make sure to get in our squadron. Apply from the Discord. Italian G91 and U40 pack. Recommended for skilled players, German G91 and Leopard bundle. Recommending this for every player. It's more interesting than the Italian one. So guys, that was all of the recommendations. These vehicles are not bad, you can purchase them without fear. If you want to learn how to get premium packs for free, click at the right top corner. Don't forget to leave a like and check my other reviews. I'll see you in the next one and peace out.